Hi everyone, we're going to sketch this graph and we're going to follow these um, routines here, one, two, three, and four. So basically testing the function just means finding your x and y intercepts. Um, I can go ahead and do that uh, right here. When I plug in zero for x, uh, here my y is going to be one. Now also, uh, this is not factorable, and so on the AP exam, if it's not factorable, uh, you can't find the um, x-intercepts, so the AP uh, exam people don't expect you to find the x-intercepts when you're sketching the graph. You're just going to kind of wing it there. Now the, uh, the, the main thing we're going to do is test the first derivative to find um, local min and max. And test the second derivative. So this be your max, something like that. Your min, um, minimum would be a curve like that. The second derivative is going to test inflection points and uh, concavity. So does it look like that or does it look like something like that? All right. And, and it's also known as stationary points. And the in behavior, the way I'm going to do in behavior is just do like we did in uh, pre-calculus. Uh, our degree is 4, so the power function is y equals x to the fourth. And that looks like this. It's, um, it's uh, very flat in here, then it swoops up. So basically for the in behavior, what you're looking at is... Uh, where it's starting and ending. So it's going to have that form where we begin and where we end when we're graphing from left to right. Also, with our 4, we have at most uh, n minus 1 turning points. So if I have x to the n and I'm looking for turning points x to the 4th, I have at most 3 turning points. Now, I might not have that many but I won't have more than three turning points. So uh, we can just knock that one out right there and just know that when we graph this, we're going to start somewhere in here. We might have something like that, okay? And in that case, we have three turning points. All right, so the main thing we're going to work on now is test the first and second derivative. So I should have wrote this out, so let me write it out again. So y equals x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. Now let's take the derivative of y with respect to x. And we get 4x cubed uh, plus 6x squared minus 4x. And we're going to set it to 0. So factoring this, I'm going to factor out a 2x, so I get 2x squared uh, plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. And then furthermore, I'm going to factor this some more, we get 2x minus 1 and x plus 2 equals 0. So basically, um, for this piece, we have uh, our x is 0. For this piece, uh, you add the 1, divide by 2, so that's going to be 1 half. And for this piece, you subtract 2, so that's negative 2. Those are your um, uh, critical points, the x values anyway. And we have to plug these back into the original equation um, to find um, the coordinates, the y-coordinates in particular. So we already know when x is 0, y is 1. So we already have a, a critical point at 0, comma 1. Now the next ones we have to do are going to be um, 1 half. So plug that in. So you get 1 half to the fourth plus 2 times 1 half cubed minus 2 times 1 half squared plus 1. And that's going to give you 13 over 16. So that's going to be at 1 half 
13 over 16. All right. Now, next we're going to do the, um, what other do we have? Negative 2. So we have negative 2 to the 4th plus 2 times negative 2 cubed minus 2 times negative 2 squared plus 1. And that's going to give you negative 7. So that's going to be at, um, let's see, negative 2 comma negative 7. So these are the three points we're going to plot. All right. Now, we're going to take the second derivative of this. And I'm going to do it on this sheet and then uh, this slide and move it over and to see if we have any inflection points. So when I take the second derivative of this, I'm going to get 12x squared um, plus 12x minus 4. So let's do it again. I just wanted to show you that. So the second derivative of y with respect to x equals 12x squared plus 12x minus 4. Now set this equal to 0, and I can divide everything by two, uh, 4, so I can reduce this by uh, 3x squared plus 3x minus 1 equals 0. Obviously this is not uh, factorable, so we have to use our quadratic formula. So that's going to be negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4a b ac all over 2a two, uh, two so 2 times 3 is 6 so this gives you x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 21 divided by 6 all right now uh, this is going to be approximately 0.26 and negative 1.26 so, therefore, uh, this has a point of inflections. We have two of them right here. But we have to find the y-coordinates. So we plug it back into the original um, equation. And when you plug it back in, um, you're going to get a point two six and then comma point nine zero <clears throat> and negative one point two six and whoops comma negative three point six six. So basically so there's your two points of inflections. Now we want to use our critical points again. Our critical points, recall, were x equals 0, 1 half, and negative 2. And you plug it into the second derivative here. You can plug it into here. You plug in 0, and, um, well, let's plug it into this one. Sorry about that. We, we divide it out, so we want to plug it into this one. And if you plug in 0, obviously you get negative 4. All right? So the curve has a maximum. Remember our point that goes with 0. Let's see. With 0 was 1. So since we get a negative 4 here, it, uh, the curve has a maximum at 0, 1. And the curve is concave down. Okay. Now for the 1 half, we're going to plug that in. And when you plug in 1 half, you're going to get, um, let's see, 1 half, and you're going to get 5. So there, for 1 half, recall that the one with the 1 half was 1 half comma 
uh, 16. So since this is positive, this is a concave up. Concave upwards. And then this is a minimum. It's a minimum because this is negative. All right. Or this is positive. All right. And the last one we had was 2. Plug in negative 2 into this right here, and you're going to get negative 2, comma, 20. That means this is concave up for negative 2, comma, negative 7. So I'm bringing in my other points. Now, I kind of sketched the graph here. So here's our critical points right here. All right. All right, here's your critical points here. Now, at 0, 1, this was our maximum. At 1 half here, we have a minimum. And at negative uh, 2, 7, we also have a minimum. And looking at the concavity, Concavity, we have, this is concave uh, down, then we're going to concave up to here, so this is the way it's concaving here, and our inflection points was right, where was our inflection points? Our inflection points was 0 0.26, 0 0.90, so it's right in here. All right, so there's your going in right in there. So basically, um, and you also have one in here. So in this case, this is concave down, then concave up right in here. And on this side, we have negative 1 in here somewhere, negative 1.26. And uh, so right in here, so this is going to be concave upwards, and this is going to be concave down, like that. So this, these are inflection points. Let me write those down. Negative 1.26 was right here, comma negative 3.66, and then this one right here, right in here. That looks like this. This one looks like this. All right, for this. And this one here was the one that was point uh, negative, no, point two six, comma, point nine zero. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>